Hi everyone, welcome to Cisco CCNP Security. We will be doing the next generation firewall DF3D. So this one is a 300 to 710th course, which is free and available on YouTube. And my name is Mois. I'm a technical instructor with Cisco IT Solution and Netmetric Solution. So without wasting any time, let's go ahead and we will see what we are going to learn in this course. So first of all about myself, I am pursuing my CCI security. I live in Melbourne and Australia. And my hobbies are with dealing with servers. So I just play around with servers and technology. I just keep on learning more and more technologies, different technologies. I read books, not specifically that uh, fantasy or something. I just uh, courses books such as Cisco, AWS or the VMware. I sometimes watch the movies and TV series, but it's occasionally, not frequently. So it's nothing much to say about me. So let's go ahead and we'll see what's in the introduction of the next generation firewall. So Cisco Firepower is an integral part of this suit. It's a product, one of the product of your Cisco security, Cisco security. So the Firepower managers, various, uh, there are various devices such as Firepower managers, which are configured, managed and monitored. And these are, there are some devices which are of the end of the life, such as 7000 series and 8000 series. And now how, let's see how the devices have been integrated with each other. So dealing with the FTDs, if you just have the FTD, it's not enough because you need to have the FMC because the hierarchy is such that this is your FTD here and you will going to control these FTDs with the help of FMCs. So there are various ways to control the FTDs. It's not only FMC by different ways, but we will see later on that one. But the hierarchy is that you will be pushing the configuration from this FMC to your device from from there the FTD will push you the network analysis and you can see the here the network analysis such as in the form of the reports in the form of the events or in the form of the policy detections or something so that's how the hierarchy is such that the setup is such that you need to have the FTD should be controlled by the FMC that is the best way so you can even control your FTD with the locally but it will be limited to that features so that's how it been controlled. So let's move forward with this one. And let's look at the history of that, uh, how the firepower came into existence in first place. So in 2012, SourceFire was uh, introduced with a version 5 known as SourceFire system. And along with that system, it's uh, a new version came into play. So when the firepower was a uh, source firepower version 5 was introduced, the so firepower brand was also newly introduced. And at that time, Firepower, Firepower was only used to represent the advanced network interface hardware. It's only for the detection at that time, at that moment of the time. But the, behind that technology, it was a Netronome flow processor. So this was a main processor which was responsible for uh, the source fire to become like a hit one at that time. And later on, Cisco acquired that one. Hopefully, <laughs> that's a matter. So now Netromone flow processor, it was a network card interface, which was a, at that time it was having an advanced technology. So that's why it was very hit in that. One. So technically it is, it is still uh, the FTD uses the same network card, but the detection speed has been increased since then. So that's why it has become more expensive now. The speed, the detection speed is such that it's only, I think, uh, 600 milliseconds. So yes, it's very speed. So now after that, the it has been rebranded to Firesight after version 5. So we will see that how it came into existence, the Fires, Firesight. So now, before the Cisco Esquire acquired the uh, source fire, the term Firesight refers to only detection. So it was like the device was only capable of detection and nothing else. It will detect and it will show you the alert and it was not capable to block the traffic at that time. In the 4.x version, it was known as the real-time network awareness and real-time user awareness. But when it comes to the version 5, it was rebranded to Firesight. That's how the Firesight came in. And now the new, the RNA -R -R -U, that is real-time network awareness and real-time user awareness were referred by the term Firesight. Now after that, the Cisco was acquitted that one and the Firesight did not uh, 
it's like before uh, source files was acquired by this acquired by the cisco there is something called a snort process which is the main part of the ftd the snort process is the main part of the ftd or the ips detection so we will see in that one later on in this course so before that one the source file did not have this technology that is the snort process so the all this was about the network and the user awareness what it was before it was all about the network and it was all about over the user awareness it was nothing to do with the blocking and the uh, filtering of the traffic is nothing to do that one but today the fireside has been expanded to firepower now which is known as next generation firewall or next generation intrusion prevention system so they have been expanded to different devices now that's all for this video and I hope I will see you very soon in the next videos. Thank you.